Well, good evening. I'm Chuck Todd here in Washington, and welcome to MTP Daily. If you want to know why something happened, sometimes it helps to know when it happened. Federal and, con and congressional investigators are trying to make sense of the Trump Jr. bombshell. We are too. We've typically viewed the timeline of events surrounding Russia as helpful context. Not anymore. After these latest revelations, the timeline looks now like it could end up being evidence in and of itself. The president today called this story the greatest witch hunt in political history. His son, his lawyers, and the White House are all flooding the zone right now trying to diminish the story or explain it away. But boy, oh boy, there's a lot of explaining to do about what happened during the Trump campaign, the Trump transition, and the Trump presidency. So here's what we do know. The campaign was a willing partner, or at least Donald Trump Jr.'s emails indicate this, in Russia's efforts to influence the election. The transition tried to cover up the full extent of its contact and communications with Russia, and it also tried to set up a back channel to communicate with the Russian government using Russian facilities. Those are facts we now know. And as president, Mr. Trump has gone to some shocking lengths, seemingly, to either help Putin or give him some cover. He's questioned U.S. intelligence, given Russia information that government officials say was highly classified, urged the FBI to drop its investigation into Michael Flynn's contact with Russia, then he fired the FBI director. And he's made it clear to Putin during a face-to-face -face meeting that he wasn't going to punish him for what he did. Instead, he's discussed partnering with him on cybersecurity matters. And a deeper dive into the timeline specifically surrounding Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting with a Russian lawyer during the campaign paints an equally troubling picture of what happened and perhaps why it happened. In early June, after Russian hackers penetrated the DNC and John Podesta's email accounts, but before it was publicly known, Trump Jr. was offered a meeting with a Russian lawyer he was told was part of a Russian government effort to back his father and, quote, incriminate Clinton. A mere four hours after the date and time of that meeting was confirmed, Mr. Trump, as candidate, is teasing that he's got dirt on his opponent. I am going to give a major speech on probably Monday of next week, and we're going to be discussing all of the things that have taken place with the Clintons. I think you're going to find it very informative and very, very interesting. So now we now know that it's two days after those comments that the Trump campaign ends up meeting with the Russian lawyer. And it's right after the meeting's apparent conclusion that Mr. Trump is tweeting, quote, where are Hillary Clinton's 30,000 emails that you deleted, unquote. Just a few days later, the first batches of emails hacked from the DNC do begin to drop. And of course, the floodgates open. At the July convention, there's that bizarre change to the top of the GOP platform, making it a bit more Russia friendly on the issue of Ukraine. And then there's this. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. When the Trump campaign is at its lowest on the day of the Access Hollywood uh, tape drop, they get WikiLeaks, which Trump uses with gusto on his way to victory. And then there's the U.S. intelligence assessment on that same very day, by the way, exposing Russia's effort, which then prompts a criminal investigation, which brings us back to today. Sources tell NBC News that the president was consulted on his son's initial statement about his meeting with that Russian lawyer. That statement has proven itself to be a brazen effort to at least mislead the public on what actually happened. In short, Donald Trump Jr. emails and the subsequent three days to get the story straight may give special counsel Bob Mueller two major pieces of evidence. Evidence of a willingness to work with the Russians and evidence of a willingness to cover up the extent of that contact. And that, like this entire timeline, may now end up being crucial evidence against the Trump team. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.